Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting an error when you're trying to run an application and you're getting a pop-up that says a referral was returned from the server. So hopefully this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So you want to go ahead and start by opening up or getting to the properties of whatever application you're having the problem with. So let me just open up the start menu and say Chrome is giving me the issue here. And I'm just putting out an example here. It could be any program. It's probably not going to be Chrome in your instance, but let's just say it's Chrome. And we're going to right click on it and then left click on open file location. So you want to go ahead and right click on this shortcut of the program you're having the issue with and left click on properties. You want to go ahead now and left click on the compatibility tab and where it says change setting for all users you want to left click on that. You want to select where it says run this program as an administrator and then left click on apply and OK. Close out of here. We'll suggest restarting your computer and then hopefully that should be able to resolve your problem. If you are still experiencing an issue after you've restarted your computer and whatnot, another thing you try would be to open up the start menu type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best match to come back a registry editor. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now that the registry editor is open, I would highly suggest that you create a backup of it before you proceed. So if you ever needed to go back to the version of the registry editor before you made any modifications, so in order to do that, just left click on the File tab, left click on Export, save the file name as something you'll easily be able to remember. So usually the date is probably a good file name, just put the date of the backup. So for Export Range, you want to select All, save it to a convenient location on your computer, and then left click on Save. And if you ever needed to bring back your previous version of the registry editor, you just would do File, Import, and just navigate to that file, so pretty straightforward. So once you made your backup, you want to go ahead and expand the HK local machine folder. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand it. You want to do the same thing for the software folder. Scroll down to Microsoft. Now you want to scroll down to Windows. Expand that one as well. Now you want to expand current version. Expand the policies folder. and now you want to go and left click on system. So on the right side there should be something if we make this column a little wider this says validate admin code signatures. You want to go double click on that. So you want to make sure it's exactly as it appears on my screen here and the value data is set to zero. So if it's one or two or something so if it says one in here just want to delete it. Type the number zero so there shouldn't be any other characters in here except for a single zero base should be hexadecimal by default and then left click on OK. Once you're done with that you also want to look for something in the same window that says enable UI a desktop toggle right here. Double click on it value data again make sure that's set to zero there shouldn't be any other characters in here if it says one or two or any other number just delete it and type the number zero left click on OK close out of here, restart your computer and hopefully that should be about it. So I do hope that that was able to also resolve the problem. And lastly, if you are still experiencing an issue here where if you're running Windows 7, Windows 8, or any version of Windows 10 except for Windows 10 Home, I'm going to show you guys a third method about how to hopefully go about resolving it. So we're going to go ahead and open up the start menu again. Type in group policy. Best match should come back with edit group policy. Again, if you're on Windows 10 Home, you're not going to see this option, so hence why this will not apply for that specific version of Windows 10. So anyway, left click on that. So please note there are two sections or two different configurations. There's a computer configuration and user configuration. We're going to be working on the computer configuration section, so I would suggest minimizing the user configuration here. Just collapse it by clicking on that little arrow. And I just don't want anybody getting confused by that. 
And then underneath computer configuration, you want to expand the Windows settings folder. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand it. And then you also want to just go ahead and left click on where it says security settings. So then you want to go ahead and expand security settings here. And now you want to go with left click on local policies and expand that one as well. And there should be something that says security options. Just left click on the security options folder one time. On the right side you want to look for something that says user account control. Only elevate executables that are assigned and validated. So scroll down here. So there we go. So double click on that. Where it says user account control, only elevate executables that are signed and validated. You want to change that to disabled if it's currently enabled. So make sure that is set to disabled is the point of this. And then left click on OK. Once you're done with that, close out of here, restart your computer, and hopefully that should have been about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.